Scary Taco 2, folks. Let's play Action 52. For those wondering, what took ya? Well, a couple things. One, college being a real hassle on me. And two, well, headset died. It, yeah. Let's just say, occasionally when the wire would move. Oh, hold up. Sorry about that phone call. Bloody telemarketers. Hate them. Hate them with a passion. Anyways. Yeah, college. How's that going for me? Well, let's just make a long story short with the British literature. It's kicking my can. Two failed tests. Midterm next week. And, yeah. It ain't ready for that class. And as for marketing, I had a oh crap or two with online assignments and a SWOT analysis. But I digress. The SWOT analysis is done. Just gotta print it out. Whereas the online part, I gotta do and do some reading. Psychology? I'm kicking butt and taking names there, folks. Although my economics class, I have to wait and see what my first quiz get not quiz, first test will give me. It's just one of those weird things, folks. The tests and quizzes debate. What's the blooming difference? Anyways, that ant. We are an ant. Soon to be dead. The funding are... Ant. Yeah, I'm developing the story as I go along, folks. Oh, hey, level... Oh, God. Spiders. Yeah. We're introduced to two new enemies. Ants and... Ack! It's a shame he wasn't selling deodorant ants. Oh, God. Ah. Yeah, this is a worst-case scenario. Ah! Yeah, you want to kill the spiders first here. They... no clip. Like the cheating buggers that they are. The winged buggers... presumably winged dance. They're a bit more erratic in their flight. Which means I hope they don't pull the old Pac-Man ghost pin on me. I don't want to be a dead ant. Ah. What? My bullet clipped through that spider! No fair! Ah. Yeah. There are a few weird. Yeah. As you can probably imagine, dead ant isn't a good game. If there was ever a good game, Action 52. Uh, that'd be the day I'd incin. That'd be the day I'd be incinerated on a double exclamation point menacing wooden spike. Double exclamation point. Points for those who know the reference. And as for other things that kept me busy, well, Dwarf Fortress. Is I actually make it a level. Oh God, Black Widow must die. dark background. Unless you develop a game full of FUs, it's still advised. Ah! And I game overed. Ah, boy. Well, I had a feeling I wasn't going to enjoy that one bit. Or eight bit. 
And according to my roulette, they came is next. Oh, good gravy. Killer dollar bills. Oh, I took a dollar bill up the ass, which is pretty much the butt of the boat. Or some or shit. Ow! I think I know what they do now, though. They act as a protective hit. Man, my shooting is like. Yeah. Bad. Oh, hey! Oh, uh, not a lot of room moving. And unlike another NES game, which I'll mention as Amadox. Ow! You can't really use what I call the bullet theory as I. Ah! I crashed. I got crunched by a bullet. I was about to say, I crashed horribly, but no. Yeah, not a lot of... Ah! Oh, I can move into purple stuff. Not as bad. Uh, not as bad. It's just the concrete walls I can't hit. Yeah, they can no-clip through that like it's... Ah! What the... What killed me? Ah! Ow! Might as well cut it there. You pretty much seen the whole game as we rolled Operation Moon for game number three of this video. Whoa! Cool. And by cool, I mean oh crap. My bullets, but once again, I can't really hit a wall here. Otherwise, I go explode. That's a fairly tight go there. And unfortunately, the obstacles repeat themselves. And, uh, graphics aren't that uh, hot. As for other things that kept me from LP, let's just say one of the biggest ones was Simply a dwarven fortress in I think I'm actually finding something I'm liking one bit or a bit. So, if there was some sort of reboot to some of the Action 52 games, I know there are a couple. Consider let's play them. Now, if I had to make one modernized reboot of an action game. Okay. Oh, hey, level complete. Oh! Cheap shot game! Dude! Oh, jeez. Ah! 
bug! Yeah. Only in Action 52 is everything made of explodium. Oh, that's a mean obstacle. Buddy. Ah. I, I pretty much am glad with my most recent computer fortress embarkment. Embarked on a volcano. Found some dolomite, marble, and obsidian on the surface. So pretty much I have three flux stones. Useful for steel and free <clears throat> obsidian for the gathering. Hey, the oh, cheap game. Uh, okay, there's good game design and there's bad. Spawning a player right in front of a wall in an auto-scrolling level is an example of bad. Even Kid Chameleon was better with this. They don't just put the advancing wall of kill, as I nicknamed that wall, right in front of the player to kill them. They give the player a little time to realize, oh crap, the music of the wall is playing. And then probably hightail it out of there. Yeah, overall... If I... Oh, oh hey, level f Okay, I pulled back just in case the game would have tried yet another cheap shot on me. Thankfully, it didn't quite pull. Not hitting. I don't like not destroying the turret that will likely shoot me. Pardon me if I butchered that. Let's just say... Oh, level... S oh, well, once the game opens up fair. Gee, I thought Operation Moon was gonna be a jerk. Anyways. Back to La Mulata. As of now, I'm planning on getting the... Statue of the Lady. First attempt, I... Sorry, folks. Last time I... yeah. Let's just say a trap got me killed. Mostly because I had a bit of a hard time remembering which... how to disarm the trap, quote, unquote. And let's just say... I became a shish kebab. I hate that. I hate that maneuver. I only make it easy looking. As for Halloween, well, I won't be participating this year, unfortunately. Hey, level 7. Whoa! Ah. Uh, it's like the game expects me to pull back and place the wall behind me. had some weird dreams lately. Mostly regarding, well, me girls. Yes, the 
guy who hates bees actually dreams about being girls. And actually doesn't mind them. What kind of irony is that, you ask? Well... I'll be... Ow! Hello, Crash. I'm surprisingly not dying. Copy and base environments in this game, no matter what, make this not so spiffy. Ack! He shot me! He shot first! That's no fair! And next game is chill out. Maybe I do need a. Oh. Oh. shoulder. Ah. Oh, jeez. It's doing it again. Ow. Yeah, this game. Ugh. Hey, level complete. Jumping is clunky again. I.e. It's ooze jumping. My least favorite. Ack! I can't even fall off a ladder! Possibly anywhere, including on top of the player, was a good eye freaking idea. Not me! Not me! If I thought that was a good idea, you'd have every right to terminate me. Oh! How did I not die from that? I'm taking it. advantage of wraparound to minimize your jumping needs and to avoid taking hits. It's shockingly you don't hurt yourself with your own snowballs or steel. Hey, that was easy. This level, we get introduced, well, the I'll be honest, folks, I'm not a big fan of snow. Or cold weather. Please tell me I can avoid taking a... Okay, I can avoid taking a hit there. Level five. Oh! No! Yeah, general tip for this game. Try to minimize jumping if you can. Unavoidable damage! Ow. Get a little of a snowball. I have a snow cone. A snow clone. Yeah. Snowball to the face. You too, buddy. And you. And you, I said. Hey, oh, it's loop. 
jumping. Let's put an end to that then. And last is 31. Fuzz power. Oh boy. What the fuzz? What the fuzz? Oh jeez. This ain't gonna end. Ow. This ain't gonna end. Ah! I got Gatling hair dried. No! This dude has a serious. Ow. Ah. Ah. Okay. Attack detection is pitiful. Ah, and the jumping too. Well, that's a video, folks. And uh, next game will be three, actually. Illuminator.